Welcome back, everyone. So this is where we at here. We have a little bit of color. Um, we're sort of viewing it right now in the zoomed-in camera view. And what I'd like to show you now is how to add a little more coolness to your materials by adding reflection on the surfaces and maybe even a little smoothing the surfaces out. So here we go. First thing we can do, I'm going to right click. Whoops. I'm going to get out of my rendering mode here. I'm in rendered. Let's just go to solid. Actually, you know what? I can handle uh, material. I'm going to right click on the plane. Okay, remember that's the ground. Right click on the plane. And I'm going to go to the materials tab. And I'm going to start to scroll down. So I have my green material. I'm going to scroll down here. I haven't talked about a lot of these. You could Google them if you wanted to, right? To know every single little feature you could do. But the one for our reflection is this one here, mirror. So now what we have to do is you can expand this open and you can turn mirror on. The reason they let you turn it on and off is it involves a lot of calculations when you start to render and it will start to slow things down as your models get complicated and have mirror reflections. So what I'm ticking is, is yes, do some mirror reflecting and the reflectivity, you can just click in here and drag and you can say how reflective you want it to be. Now you're not going to see it here. Okay, you're only going to see it in the rendered view. So let me just check this. Let me put pretty high reflection. Okay, almost 100. And let's switch our view here to rendered. You'll see that I start to get the reflection of the cylinder and the cube onto the surface. I've basically turned the surface into a mirror. Okay, that was pretty high values. Now if I take it down a bit, you can see how you can make it a little more subtle right so it's not quite exactly a mirror so that's what that does okay with the mirrors now you could do this on any object you want so for instance if I just go to material and I take the cylinder now I can do the exact same thing go to materials remember this thing slides it's very annoying I can uh, go to this material and say I want the purple let's make it the blue let's say I want the blue material to have reflectivity basically pretty high and then when I go to render it I'll hit the render button this time you can see you start to see the reflection in those strips right and there's a the reflection of the cube inside of that panel there now if I want I can make anything reflected that you want to reflect and it will actually do the calculations really well and depending where you put your objects you can get some very cool reflection uh, going on in your model and that's pretty good but that's is the basics of setting the reflection right it's all about the materials tab and just scrolling down turn the mirror on and don't overuse it too much right you don't want to go nuts on it but it does look good with certain things certain objects like that are supposed to be metal Metal is usually a little shiny if it's smooth and it reflects. Or you put some mirrors set up in your scene so you get a little bit of reflection. Not too bad, not too hard to do either. Remember, you don't see it here unless you're in rendered shading. And usually you won't be. Okay, usually you pop out to material. Thanks for watching. Have fun with the mirrors.